Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are on lesson twelve point four. Combine more shapes. While you are watching this video, I want you to keep this question in mind. How can you combine two-dimensional shapes to make new shapes? Well, what does combine mean? So to combine means to put or to add things together. So when I combine shapes together, I could put them next to each other like this, or I can put one shape on top of another shape. So today we will combine two dimensional shapes such as triangle, square, hexagon, diamond, and rectangle. Now I will show you how to do it. Watch me. Let's turn to page six hundred and eighty-nine. Listen and draw. Use the outline on the left to describe how two shapes can make another shape. Which two shapes can you use to make this new shape? Hmm. I think I can use a square and a triangle to make this new shape. Now, boys and girls, draw a line on the shape to show how the triangle and square are put together. Perfect. Now use three shapes to fill the outline on this shape. Hmm. I can fill the outline by combining a triangle a square and a rectangle. The question is does it matter where you put the square and rectangle? Actually, they have to fit in the outline of this shape. As long as they are put at the bottom of the shape, it doesn't matter if the shape go on the right side or the left side. Now, I can draw the line to show how this shape are combined to make the new shape. Perfect. Now let's turn to page 690. Model and draw. Combine shapes to make a new shape. These two rectangles are the same size. How are these two shapes alike and different? These two rectangles are the same size. I can combine these two rectangles to make a new shape. So how are these two shapes alike and different? They both have four sides and four vertices. But how are they different? The rectangles have two long sides and two short sides. The square has four equal length sides. Hmm, boys and girls, is this the only way that you can combine these two rectangles together? Hmm, of course not. There are many ways that you can combine two shapes together. Well, let's practice combining shapes together. Share and show on page 690. Circle two shapes that can combine to make the shape on the left. Number one, I see a circle on the left. I think I can use two semicircles. That means half circle to make one circle. So I will circle these two semicircles to show how these two circles are combined together to make one circle. Number two, this is a rectangle. Which two shapes can be combined together to make a rectangle? Hmm, I think these two squares can be combined together to make this rectangle. The only thing I need to do is to turn this 
square around and then put them together. Look, this is a rectangle. So I will circle these two squares to show that when they are combined together, they can make a rectangle. Number three. I see a shape with curved line and straight line. Well, how can I combine quarter circle or semicircle to make the shape on the left? Well, I think I can turn the quarter circles around. Do you see the curved line is on top so i will turn this one around and try to see if it fits the outline of the shape yes they fit so therefore i will circle these two quarter circles to show that when they are combined together they can make a new shape like this one on page 691, you will complete these exercises on your own. Circle two shapes that can combine to make the shape on the left. Number four, look at the shape on the left. Then you will look at the shapes on the right. Try to look at the curved lines and the straight lines. Then you will find the shape that could be used to make the new shape. Well, this shape has a curved line, so I know it must be made by a quarter circle. Look how I turn the quarter circle in order to fit the outline of this shape. Look. I will draw a line on the shape to help me to find another shape. I can see this is a square. So I will circle the square and also the quarter circle. When these two shapes are combined together, they can make this new shape. Boys and girls, you will try to do number five on your own. Which two shapes can be combined to make the shape on the left? Think smarter. Page 691. Draw lines to show two different ways to combine the shapes on the left to make new shapes on the right. For these problems, you need to be able to use your mind to switch these shapes around so that you can show two different ways to make the new shapes. For example, number six. First, you can turn the rectangle horizontally to fit the top part of the new shape. Then you will see the squares fit the outline of the other parts of the shape. Last, I will draw the lines to show how the squares and rectangle are combined to make the new shape. Well, another way to make the same shape is by switching the position of the squares and rectangle until they fit the outline of the shape. Watch me. First, I will turn this rectangle horizontally and put this on the shape. Well, do you put it here? No. If you put your pink rectangle here, it will look just like the first shape. So we will so we will move the rectangle to the right. Now we can put the squares on the shape. 
It doesn't matter if you switch around the squares. Again, I will draw the lines to show a different way to make this new shape. All right. So you will complete number seven by yourself. Draw lines to show how the shapes on the left combine to make the new shape. For example, there is a triangle and a rectangle on the left. I will try to find the shapes on the new shape and then draw lines to show how these small shapes are combined together to make a new shape. Watch me. All right. Once you solved all these problems, you can go on to do your homework on page 693 and 694. When you finish, you can upload it to Class Dojo. Have fun learning. Bye.